here, come here. No, 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 no. Gosh, dude, this is big. It's a good fish. Good day, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We're starting off right where we left off. Uh, me and Lunkers TV out here doing some fishing. There's a uh, waning gibbous up there in the sky. We're shoreline right now. The birds are just starting to chirp. Some boats are getting out on the water. Much better conditions today. Much less wind. And today's video is sponsored by Carl's Mystery Tackle Box. Shopcarls.com is a proud provider of Guggen Baits and they also have these mystery tackle boxes. I'm fishing with a Pro Box today and you know there's a lot of plastics and stuff you can find in there but if some of y'all are looking to save a ton on a mixture of good hard baits, do yourself a favor, get signed up right now. If you can use the code MONDO, I'll leave it all down below. But you're essentially getting about $12 off when you use that code signing up for the first time. And some of those baits, you may have those for years if you don't break them off. Uh, a lot of those hard baits. So it's a good time to sign up if you want to save money. I know there's a lot of you out there that just want to get into bass, maybe learn some new lures. You're getting your first box for like five bucks. Do yourself a favor, go over there, check it out. And I'm going to be showing you some of those baits uh, that are in this month's box right now. There's already guys getting out of the water. I gotta get out there. Dead gummit. I think they're already in my hole. Much different conditions today, y'all. Yeah, the coots are out. That's good. The coots are out feeding on the grass. <laughs> so many more fishermen too. The boat ramp's loaded at just at sunrise. Me and Rob got all excited and scared yesterday and no one was here. I think it's because of the crazy winds. Got my breakfast to go here, sauerkraut sandwich and a little coffee. Probably need a breath, man, after that one. Let's go give it a dangle, guys. Let's see what we got in this box. Alrighty, let's just see what we got going in this January box. Right off the bat, I'm seeing something I want to tie on immediately. A jerk bait. Ooh, a cold weather crankbait. Excellent. This is a Weston, looks like a uh what do you call it? A uh, not a walking bait. Side to side, goes like this. That's a good bait too. All these are fantastic. Well, we got some uh, jerk shads. Got some stuff we can flip. Oh my gosh, MTB, you have done well. Now, yesterday I was catching them on a lipless crankbait, which I might use as a search bait as well today. I was literally thinking about tying on a jerk bait. Conditions are just good for it today. They're calmer. I've already got two boats in the spot that I found yesterday, so I'm not on the juice here. Jerkbait bone color, always good, always good. Now this is a slower fishing bait. Like yesterday I was using that, that, uh, that lipless. It's really good for covering water fast, and that's why, why I wanted to use it yesterday. It was, it was windy, and I'll, I'll probably use it today to actually find grass too, or I could use, <laughs> well, Use the jerk bait this time. That hairy stuff right there. This is, uh, I think this is a, a Bagley. Yeah, Bagley. Known for making really good balsa baits. And this is uh, a flat sided square bill crankbait. It's, it's got a different wobble to it. It's tighter. So when chat are cold, or when fish are cold in general, they have just a tight, tighter swim. So this, this emulates colder bait fish. So it's better for this time of year. When you get in a warmer water, more aggressive fish, then a uh, more aggressive presentation is better. So right now all I'm finding is this stuff. That is not, that is not the good grass right there. First fish on, came on the search bait. Absolutely slammed it. The fish is so chunky. Chunky and healthy. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's a good sign. Ah, Alright, first fish. First fish of the day. I feel like I can eat my breakfast now. Absolutely ripped it. A little bit farther off the bank, so. Fishing out here a little bit. 
today they might be, since it's cooled off a little bit, they might be uh, just backed off. And they'll probably move closer when the sun gets out or later in the day when it just warms up a little bit. thought he was. He's little. On the search bait again. They're liking that red for sure. It's just this time of year. He must have gotten caught in the grass. My gosh, these fish are so fat. So fat. I think he had me caught in some grass or something when I first hooked into him. They were just stopping that thing in his tracks. Well, something I overlooked in the box, which I don't even know, to be quite honest, how to rig it. Five bites to go, five inch fluke, four aught. So I guess this is especially made for like rigging up weightless soft plastics um, with the hook exposed, like not wacky rig, but um, I'm just gonna guess out of the top. Like it's such a weird looking deal. We'll give that a try. Definitely not seeing the numbers on the electronics like I did yesterday. I may bounce around to a few more areas. And I'm gonna try to fish some timber too with that jerk bait. I think that'll be good. God, fishing weightless soft plastic is probably the most boring. I am not being that patient right now. I'm gonna whip around with a whipless and a crank here just on this flat. I'm gonna change depths a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go run some other water. See what we can find. We got calm conditions today and it's time to take advantage of it. <clears throat> okay, I just rolled up to one of my favorite pre-spawn spots. It is calm enough to throw a jerk bait, which I'm really liking. Fish like to stage on secondary points like this before they really go into spawn. Even if they're not on key structure, like a, a point uh, or something like that, just following trees that live along the creek channel edge. Like fish will use those creek channels as highways and they'll suspend in those trees and that's, that's where the jerk bait is really the perfect bait. Of those creeks coming out of the pockets, can't get my words right today. I'm like cold or something, but you get what I'm saying. This osprey up here in this tree knows what I'm saying. It's like, yep, I follow them fish, man. I cannot stand. I'm not throwing a jig right now. It's killing me. Ooh, this is big. This is El Big Boy here. Boy, that thing is funky. This is called a battle bug. This thing's got a lot happening with it. I'd really like to fish this by itself more than just on a jig, but I'm gonna take these long pinchers off or those two curlers off. I'm just gonna fish it like that. It actually looks phenomenal. Two big craw pinchers going down. I love fishing jigs and trees like this too. Like this is a really good combo. Go in here with the jerk bait and fish. You know, fish them, uh, the suspended fish, and if they're on the bottom, hit them with this jig. Nothing better than a bass thumping a jig, baby. Suspended fish right there. That's the fish I'm targeting with these jerk baits. They kind of just suspend with the water temps, move up and down the trees like a thermometer. They are in here. Oh my gosh, there's another one. <laughs> We have found the fish. Those are good marks, too. Really good marks. Uh, let's see if I eat this bagley. When I start seeing that stuff on the graph, I know I'm doing, I'm in the right spot. It's time to start really experimenting. One, two, three, four. Fatties. Sitting out here. They're, they're waiting. They're waiting. I guarantee you this is what's going on. They're waiting till this afternoon. It's either gonna be this afternoon or tomorrow and they're just gonna flood 
the banks. Like all these trees you see are gonna have fish on them. There's another one right there. These are good marks. These are probably two to four pound fish. I just got my first bite, received a hard hit. Uh, dragging that, that big bite creature bait on a little structure head and uh, didn't want to hang on. I, I mean, I slammed it and I went to check the fish, but it wasn't there. I think what I may do is put on a, uh, a finesse style worm. That might be the profile they want right now. There's one. Oh, here we go. God. Fishing so slow. Three bites is my first fish. Oh, there we go. Fishing a little shaky head. That's a better fish though. I'm gonna switch up colors. I just broke a fish off. Retie. Give it a day. This is such a slow presentation bite. You're basically just dragging a hot dog on the bottom. You just feel a thump, tap, and that one—that was actually a good fish. You know, that was one of those probably upper fours that I was talking about. Hit it real good. It was just a little close to the boat, and so the hook and broke it. God, this is this is painful. It's brutal. I know there's good fish in here. I know if I just keep dragging this, every once in a while I'm gonna get a good one. Hey, yeah, yeah, I need to eat too. While you're eating, you may wanna just cast and literally it's that slow. They're all around me. Uh, I've got some, thank you. That's when you know it's good when the guy's already sitting down the back of the water. Oh, there's my. Oh shoot, what do we got here? Come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. It's a big, it's a good fish. Only got 12 pound on here. Not good. Oh my gosh, dude, this is big, it's a good fish. Gosh, this fish has got me up in a tree. Come on, baby. Come out. Come out. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's a better fish. Good fish. It's like a five pounder, dude. Yeah. Trees everywhere. I got to be careful. Come here. No. Dude, I've 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 seen so many marks like this. I'm telling you. I it. Just fishing that hot dog on the bottom. Oh yeah, baby. This is what we came here for. Yep. It's a nice fish. Yep. Oh. oh yeah. That's a stud. That is a stud puppy. No, dude, they're all super fat like that. They are pre-spawn. That's a nice five pounder. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. That was an incredible fight. Almost lost that fish in a tree. Finally got it out. We will see you later, Mr. Five. Go get bigger. That could even been bigger five, I don't know. Hey, Lunker's bringing me some luck. Some food and some luck. Oh boy, oh boy. 
There's a lot of trees in here, my friend. He's tiny. He's not like the last one. He's a giant. Get him. Get him. Dude, they are so, they're feisty. Well, I just went from a five to a two. She's coming off a good lunch break there. And uh, that fish is like two pounds. Should, I mean, that should be a one pounder, but he's so fat. These fish are such fatties right now. Where'd you go, buddy? See ya. I, I'm still seeing all these fish, they're moving through. They're staging. I, I've moved over probably uh, 50 yards from where I was. They just don't want to eat. I mean, I'm, I'm really having to finesse them. Uh, Rob's behind me. He just caught one on a drop shot. This is pre-spawn fishing. It's slow. It's a grind. You can catch the biggest fish of your life doing it, but quite honestly, I, I like to get out there. I like to really just chunk and wind and really throw some you know, aggressive type stuff, catch fish, but I will do anything to catch fish. Make no mistake. I'm here to dangle. Got him. Got him. There we go. Good fish. Come on. Decent fish. Little guy. Oh, get around that stump. Come here. Such a slow slow bite guys god it is brutal they're here they're definitely here they're staging but it is just drag some sort of bait that doesn't have a whole lot of movement on the bottom and wait wait for a tap and these fish are just fat these are just fatties get in here Absolute fatties, gotta love them. Okay, let you go, buddy. Appreciate the fight. I'm gonna end state a rule right now on this boat. So if you catch a fish that is longer than the Guggenbaits logo, you have a certified Mondo. That's what it is. You know, that fish was probably two and a half pounds, maybe two and three quarters. But I'm thinking a five is gonna be pushing it it's gonna get close six will definitely be over ah, another fish dragging slow see these fish guys suspended on the move i just got to get some different scenery and try some other things you know the spot's just getting stale it's got good fish here but it's getting stale i'm gonna try some other things make sure i'm not missing out on any good opportunities same pattern taking off the bait i was using before that right there catch them i came over to a, a pocket that's it's on the same side of the lake as where i was catching them earlier it's got trees and everything i'm on uh, basically the same type thing look at that fresh hydrilla right there oh i want to i want to find out where that came from that's the other pattern that i found is fresh grass bright green grass like that is holding fish too Jerkbait fish, jerkbait fish. Oh my gosh, look at him go, look at him go. Smoked it. All right, this is that jerkbait bite I was talking about earlier where these fish suspend in these creek channels on these trees. And I just threw it to one of these trees right in the middle in about 16 foot of water. That's a good fish. A lot of hooks in his face right now. Good fish, good fish. Let's see if we can sling this guy. Maybe, oh my gosh, he's so fat. Maybe not. Oh god, almost lost him. I gotta, I gotta seat land him. He's too chunky. He's too much of a butterball. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. That's one of the prettiest bass I've ever caught in my life. Look how white the belly is. <sighs> that little jerk bait finally came in handy. Good fish. Dang. Absolute fatty. It's a nice three pounder, maybe a little more. Beauty, beauty, beauty. 
gosh dang all right i gotta get me another one of them i think that's a female too just how small the face is and how fat it is absolutely gorgeous powerful strong i think i found every shad in the lake from like five foot down all the way to the bottom it was just all shad god all those shad are right there on the bottom moving through oh i just hooked into a good one on a lipless ripping it through there god that feels really large yeah shallow too came up there ripping shallow that's a big one golly that fish fights so hard almost felt like a foul hooked a fish look at the dandy another dandy catching some good ones good ones up here look at that fish barely hooked barely hooked there we go nice fish right there on that lipless smoked it just kind of ripping it through and i'll pause it for a second and just bam there we go shallow shallow water i was like you know what i think i'm just gonna try sweeping through here on this flat where i see some birds that one crushed it in probably two feet of water and there we go that's that was the pattern from yesterday find that fresh hydrilla grass or whatever kind of grass it is well our little gopro is, is full it's full of fishing footage so that right there is one more that's on the, uh, that's on the drag and drop or the uh slim shake actually trying to jump that ass aren't you all right y'all we have gone hard today we're gonna end on that last fish had to try everything today the fish were there was shallow fish there was mid-depth fish uh that seemed like the best bite that was going on though uh with the the good size was that that mid-depth five to seven some might consider that shallow that's kind of mid-depth here using a soft plastic going slow uh, really paying attention to the electronics when you see fish just really slow down uh, because if you just fish fast you'll go you'll see the fish but you'll go right over them and get frustrated and just keep moving on to the next spot but if you just buckle down and take your time get a few fish here and there and end up with a nice sack I would have got way more excited about that five pounder if I didn't have like four boats around me because it was like a signal beacon of, hey, put your waypoint right here. Cast it over here, son. But that is a really nice fish. That's my biggest fish in the States of 2019 so far. I thought the jerkbait was gonna come more into play uh, with the suspended fish on the tree as the day went on and the sun got higher, but I only caught one good fish doing that. But I'm gonna leave you guys right there great couple days out here make sure to hit the like button put a lot of effort into uh, into fishing these last couple days try to get you guys uh, some patterns and some lure choices and if you guys want to save some money on the box don't forget about Carl's mystery taco box use the code down below the link and uh, Mondo will be applied and you'll save a bunch of money big shout out to MTP for helping us out on these videos so thank you guys i love you i hope you learned something today and i'll see you on the next dangle later